Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Weldrick, and holy crap, what did we just watch? Is that really from Riot? That is definitely not what they are used to producing. Now, uh, you might have seen a video, a video, a, uh, an entry on the blog where I was kind of looking forward to this champion. It might even li link into Nautilus's law. I don't know. Through the video, you can kind of tell that he's talking about betrayal. Something happened, maybe at sea. That's why uh, he seems to be definitely a, a water-themed champion. And Nautilus has a very similar kind of um, push to his law. It's all about betrayal. He apparently came to League of Legends, or at least when the law accepted that League of Legends existed, um, to search for the people who betrayed him uh, and sent him into the deep dark uh, against that oily creature that, uh, that basically fused him seemingly to his diver suit. But anyway, uh, so this is Pike, um, a, a very <laughs> almost cliche name, I guess, Pike. Uh, yeah, but anyway. Um, Let's take another look and see what we can see with this, because uh, this is an awesome video. I remember the day I died. Okay, so first off there, he died, obviously, to what appeared to be like a kraken of some description. Um, and here, what we're about to see is, as far as I'm concerned, a tally. Now, I don't know if this is going to come into one of his abilities. Maybe this is his passive, or at least a passive on one of his abilities. Um, he seems to have a tally, and maybe he's going to get stronger. Maybe he's going to have an effect when he kills somebody, I guess, or assists in killing somebody. Maybe this is going to be part of his kit, like uh, Reef 3 said. Um, he's, he's basically going to make an enemy... Drowned by their own hands. Now, well, let's just continue, see what happens. Yes, I see them. Now there, that is almost, I mean, to me, this, I, actually, that's a good time to pause it. I was going to try and get this. He's, you can see his knife. This looks like his, a dagger that he wields. Um, or actually quite a sword, I guess you see it at the start, but he's underground. I guess the effect is that he's actually underwater, but here he is clearly underground. Um, this just reminds me of Rek'Sai, straight up Rek'Sai. The, the fin almost, the dorsal fin that Rek'Sai has, and she goes underground. And yeah, it's, it's very sort of Rek'Sai, very kind of almost Davy Jones kind of, you know, like obviously he's out for revenge, but he's gonna, he's, well, I'll talk about it in a second, because it's this next clip. Underwater Thresh. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, he. this is just feeding into what Reeve 3 said, and what I was speculating. He does seem very crowd control oriented, you know? He, he seems to be a champion that will fight on his terms. Um, he's obviously captured this guy, this poor guy, um, in... in chains, in, well not chains, sorry, in ropes, in lashings, um, with hooks even. It it looks pretty vicious to be honest for a, for a Riot video, but let's be honest, this again does look like uh, maybe an ability he has, maybe he can crowd control with, with uh, ropes and hooks. Um, and this I'm guessing here at the top is, is Pike himself, uh, quite spectral almost, which is strange because you do see a, him almost as a physical manifestation um, at points in the video. So, it's going to be, I don't know, I'm just really looking forward to this, it's crazy. In fact, inside, now that I've paused it, you can actually see that there appears to be bones. Like, you can almost see his skeleton through his, his spectral skin. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Holy crap. Yeah, there we go. So... What do we see here? Well, Pike. Yeah, we see his his blade I was talking about. At the start, at the very start, it seems, I think, almost like a, an actual sword. Seems quite big, really, but I guess towards the end... I'm going to pull it back. Oh! It's, it's almost like a dagger again. But either way, he has a blade of some description. It's very almost, yeah, very nautical themed. It looks like an almost fish design with a... a, a serrated barbed uh, blade and then a hook on the back 
You can see on the right, um, in his hand, he has this tally, almost. And I've just seen it now, so let's mention it. The His shoulder pads, almost. I get, they look like shoulder pads. This is what we saw in the teaser. These are what I thought was yeah, almost blades, but yeah, they're, it seems to be like shark teeth. Shark jaws, almost. Or at least jaws of a creature. It might even be the creature that supposedly killed him. As you can see at the bottom there, in the middle. Um, it's very cool. A very, very cool design aesthetic. But like I said earlier, you can see him now as a physical manifestation. This is him. Him. This is, I guess, before he died. Well, not before he died, but this is what he would have looked like. Uh, he's got slashes over his the top of his head. His eyes are glowing. Th that mask... I don't know if that's going to play into something, but that almost doesn't look like a mask. That looks like almost an injury he's suffered. I mean, you can kind of tell it is a bit of a almost balaclava mask kind of thing, but it just looks almost too too much, too detailed, you know? Absolutely crazy. Loving this champion design. Even on the bottom right, you can almost see, like, uh, in comparison to the left side, where the, uh, the gentleman was getting what appeared to be his soul ripped out or something, I don't know. Um... It looks like a lot of people are getting tangled up in his in his wires, in his lashings. Absolutely crazy character design. Looks very, very cool. And like I say, it may even play into the Nautilus bit. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying this guy out. Uh, but what I do want to do, and I'm going to leave it off here because it is a brilliant little ending. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, this, yeah, definitely stoked for this release. And I'll leave you with Pike.